so hello everybody and welcome back to another video and in this video i will cover problem avo's favorite problem that was problem c from the recent education around 130 so let's get started so in the problem we have been given two strings uh, namely s and t and that are only made up of three characters and that are a b and c uh, uh, along with that we have been given two operations these two operations are in one operation we can uh, take any string uh, any any substring ab in s and change it to b so we can change any substring ab in s and change it to b uh, similarly second operation is we can change any string bc in s to cb so these are the two operations that we have been given and we have to answer in yes or no we have to answer in yes or no if it's possible to apply these operations any number of times and convert s to t so we have to apply these number of uh, these operation any number of times on s and we have to tell if it's possible to convert s to t using these operations so how can we do this so let's see uh, first of all, let's try to rephrase the operations. Let's try to re uh, rephrase the operations. I will not see the operations as replacing, but I will see the operations as uh, moving. Uh, what I mean to say is, uh, we have been given that we can uh, replace AB with BA. Uh, if you see this carefully, you can uh, uh, say that B is moving. B is moving to the left of A b is moving to the left of a what that means is uh, if there is some block of a's there is some block of a's and there is a b here and there is a b here b can move right through these a's b can move right through these a's to the left so b can move to the left of a so that's basically what operation one means right given a block of a's and b on the right side, B can move to the left of A. Similarly, you can rephrase the second operation. Uh, in the second operation, you have been given that given BC, we can change it to CB. So, what that means is, uh, given a block of C's, given a block of C's, something like this, and given a B, uh, uh, B can move to the right of C's. Given a block of C's and a B. B can move to the right of C's. So B can move to the right of C. So using these rephrasing, you can observe that you can observe that only B is moving, right? Here only B is moving. There is no movement between A, A's and C's. So so the so the relative positioning of A and C should remain same in both S and T. So we have been, so we have observed that. We have observed that only B is only B is moving. Only B is moving. But that means is relative positions of A and C. Relative positions of A and C must be same. Must be same in both S and T. So, if you want to see this, see this as an example, uh, what I mean to say is, uh, for example, if there are two A's and a C in S, the same structure should be followed in T. So, T should also have two A's followed by a C. There can be some B's in uh, in in here. I don't care care about that as of now. There can be some B's here. I don't care about that, right? As of now, be be because it's possible that B's can move. But A's and C cannot move uh, in between each other. So the uh, relative positioning of A and C should be same in both S and T. So that is your observation one. So your observation one is that the relative positions of A and C should be same in both S and T. Now let's move on to observation two. So in first operation, if you see, in first operation, if you see, you have been given some block of A's and you have been given some b b is moving to the left of a's right so if your index of a is x and uh, when b moves to its left index of 
a will increase to x plus 1 similarly if another b goes to its left index of a will increase to x plus 2 so index of a index of a will always increase will always will always increase going from s to t going from s to t uh, currently we are in s and when we apply some operations in this index of a will always increase similarly if you see the second operation similarly if you see the second operation when b moves to the right if index of c is x index of c will increase uh, index of c will decrease to x minus 1 similarly if another b passes uh, to its right index of c will increase to uh, index index of c will decrease to x minus 2 so you you can similarly say that index of c will always decrease will always decrease going from s to t going from s to t right so uh, so now you have uh, explained both your observations and these two observations are enough uh, to solve the problem so how can we solve the problem now you using these two observations using these two observations first of all you will check so this is your solution so using these two observations first of all check that the relative positions relative positions of a and c must be same in both s and t in both s and t right and second of all second of second of all using second observation you must check for every a for every a in s uh, index index of corresponding index of corresponding a in t must be greater than or equal to the the index in s the index in s what i mean by this is for example if i uh, let's say there are three uh, a's and something like this so if index of this a is uh, let's say index of this a is s1 index of this a is s2 index of this a is s3 index of this is let's say t1 index of this a is t2 and index of this a is 3 t3 then uh, for every uh, uh, si and ti the following relation must uh, follow so ti should be greater than or equal to si why so because we know after applying some operations after applying some operations s1 s2 s3 they will all increase they will all increase so initially in s initially in s if s1 is already greater than t1 then after applying some operations after applying some operations s1 can never be equal to t1 s1 can never be equal to t1 so s will never be equal to t right so uh, so index of uh, a in s should uh, should always be less than or equal to index of that corresponding a in t right so for every a in s check that index of that corresponding a in t is greater than or equal to index of that corresponding a in Similarly, you can form a condition for C. Similarly, for every C, check that index of that corresponding C, index of that corresponding C in T, uh, it should be reverse of that. So, it should be less than equal to index of that C in S, so index of C in S why so because we know in the uh, uh, index of c will always decrease uh, here, here i told you yeah so index of uh, index of c will uh, index of c will always decrease going from s to t index of c will always decrease going from s to t so if you have something like this this is your s this is your t if index of c uh, index of c in s uh, s is s1 s2 s3 uh, here is t1 t2 t3 
then for uh, then, then for every si si should be greater than equal to ti because you know when you are coming when you are coming from s to t index of uh, index of c will decrease so if so if your s if you so if your si is already less than ti if your si is al already less than ti it can never be equal to ti it will never be equal to become equal to ti because you know si will decrease coming to t so si will never be uh, never never be able to become equal to ti using some operations so if si is not equal to ti you can say that s is not equal to t right so using the same logic you can say index of every corresponding c in t should be less than equal to index of every corresponding c in s and these three conditions are sufficient to show that uh, s will be equal to t after some operations this will be equal to t after some operations so these are the three three conditions that you should check this is your condition one the relative positions of a and c must be same in both s and t and then the second condition is for every uh, for every a index of corresponding a in t should be greater than equal to that corresponding index in s because index of a will always increase right and this is the third condition uh, index of every corresponding c in t should be less than equal to index of that c in s because index of c will always decrease so these three conditions in, uh, are the conditions that you need to check uh, to solve the problem and if you want to see the code for this code is not that complicated at all so here is the code uh, so first uh, so firstly ignore all the b's because you only want to check the relative positions of a and c so ignore all the b's and create two new strings uh, that that uh, does not contain b right and if s2 is not equal to t2 that is the uh, the relative positions of a and c are not same then you can just print out no otherwise uh, store all the c's and compare their index right uh, in uh, if index of c is less than uh, uh, less than the index in t then you can know that you will never be able to do some operations and make the strings equal right so then you should just return false similarly you can do for a and uh, and if all the conditions are satisfied uh, you know that you can form s equal to t using some operations then you can just uh, print out yes right so here it is uh, if solve you see out yes otherwise see out no so that was the solution to the problem and if you guys have a doubt do let me know in the comments and i will be happy to help you out also if you guys don't know continue to school is offering a full stack development course the course is uh, over six months long and it is totally based on pay after placement model and you don't have to pay anything there is zero hidden fees there is zero upfront fees and they are granting you a minimum package of rupees five lakhs and the average package is rupees 7 lakhs and the highest package is over rupees 26 lakhs so it is a very great opportunity also all their mentors are from top mncs like google flipkart zomato etc also they will get you placed into the top mncs as well like google flipkart zomato uh, so uh, you can learn from the mentors that are working at those companies and you can land a job at those companies yourselves also you don't need to worry if you guys think yeah maybe coding aati nahi hai maybe fresher mein koi bilkul nahi aata the course is over 6 months long and they will teach you from scratch so you can still sign up for this and if you guys are looking for a career in the tech field this is a very uh, this is a very great head start that you should sign up for and if you uh, want to land a job i highly uh, i highly vouch for this and uh, if you guys want to sign up there will be a link down below and you can go and sign up from there so yeah, be sure to sign up for this and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.